week, we've seen several peaceful and violent protests in Charlotte, North Carolina, after a black man was shot and killed by cops, 43-year-old Keith Lamont Scott. A Black Lives Matter rally is set to take place this weekend in central Jersey in a town you might not expect, Lincroft, New Jersey. I'm from Long Hill, New Jersey, which is very, very white. It's very um, upper middle class. There's not a lot of diversity at all. But um, through church and through this organization, I've really um, come to open my eyes a little bit to the realness of the problem, especially in this area where it's not often discussed outside of closed doors. Now, Thursday night, I headed to Christ Church in Summit, where I caught up with teens who are part of a faith-based group. Well, educationally, I know there's a lot of issues concerning who's getting into what level classes and just how they're separating students students of color from regular students, maybe subconsciously, maybe consciously, but it's just definitely an issue that needs to be addressed in some way. I think we're creating a new wave of thinking. We're having our children believe that everyone should be equal, and that's a good thing. You've got violence and looting and cops in the hospital because of all this outrageous and barbaric behavior in Charlotte and you've got these little suburban whiny brats acting like they have some opinion about it. What would you rather them do? Remember when I did the story on the leader of the new Black Panther Party? Ah, yes. We need more white people to contribute to the revolution. We need more white people to be vocal, the ones who say they're not racist, the ones who say it's a tragedy and here are kids in suburbia doing that. They are actually taking this into their own hands. So many millennials are apathetic and just, oh, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings and say back, but I like to see them involved even if you don't agree with it. I think it shows that they have a backbone for once. I think the problem is that even the word tolerance, like I don't think we should be tolerating the outrageous behavior that's going on in Charlotte. If these knuckleheads want to do something, they ought to go into Trenton and maybe work at a food kitchen or do something that is positive and productive other than making a couple signs. A lot of times we see the reports when there's violence. Here you see peaceful kids and not just of one race coming together to rally and just say, let's talk. They are changing the tone of the Black Lives Matter movement.